What is going on warriors and farmers of Tamaris? Welcome back to another Call of Dragons video. In today's episode, we're gonna do the wheel spin for Bertrand in the game. We're gonna start off by showing you what I have. At the beginning, I have three universal tokens and zero token for Mr. Bertrand. Let's hope everything don't end in a disaster today. So this is the first wheel for the Bertrand in our server. I'm gonna be doing 100 spins. I got 100 tickets ready for the event. I'm just hoping to get maybe 80 tokens. If I get more than 80, that's gonna be awesome. So right off the bat, the first one we get three hour speed ups X5. That is some good stuff. So how many tokens do you think I'm gonna get? Can you guess? All right, looks like the spin is going great. Every single time it shows me the 10, then it goes to the three hours. Why is it teasing me? This is not fun. We got the token token oh man another three hour speed ups i cannot complain i'm gonna be using that to train lots of troops for the open fields that should be fun i also need some stars as well no complaints there looks like it's beginning in a disaster i hope it ends well so we got another token not the best What's next? Can you give me the 10 spot? We got a star. What is next? We got a token. Next on the list token, we got a star. Bertrand is a pretty cool hero. He is awesome for the open field. I would suggest you get the hero and try to max him out. He is the only single target mage with 1500 skill damage. That is huge. He's going to be very useful when fighting behemoths. So a lot of people right now are not happy with the second skill for Bertrand known as compound interest. They are saying it is not working efficiently. I personally, I am thinking different. That skill is working the way it is intended. If you guys remember correct, we have Theodore in the game. Theodore also has the mark of console. It's a little bit different from the golden mark of Bertrand. Now the mark of console for Theodore is going to require a debuff from the rage skill. When I talk to the customer service, they said stuff from the talent tree does not trigger this type of marks. So that's something people need to know. The only way to trigger these marks are going to be from the rage skill of the hero. Oh, there you go. We got the first 10 spot. So this is awesome. Looks like we are going to get another one again. That should be fun. Now getting back to the compound interest, it is working the way it is intended. Theodore was designed to work with Forondil, and they did the same thing with Mr. Bertrand over here. If you want to get all the three stacks for Bertrand, you are going to have to use him with Tohar. That's how it goes. Did we just get another 10? This is awesome. It is started out bad. Now it is going great. I am guaranteed another 10 spot, which is great. Let's see if I can get two more. Looks like it's gonna be a good day. How many tokens do you think I'm gonna get? Make your guess before we finish. When it comes to Bertrand in terms of compound interest, that skill is gonna be triggered by any hero in the game. However, the game developers decided to put a 5 second timer on the scale so that you don't get to use it. If you're going to be using compound interest and you put Bertrand as a primary, he is going to give you one stack and then your deputy is going to get 10% skill damage. Now, if you put Bertrand as a deputy, he is going to get one mark from the primary hero and then he's going to turn that mark into 5% boost for his 1500 skill damage provided that you max him out. Oh, there you go. We got another 10 spot. This is just awesome. Was that number four or number three? I lost count. I guess we're gonna find out at the end. Just see how many tokens we got. All right, I have about 15 left, so we're gonna go slow. And then the last one, we're gonna try and speed it up. Now this wheel is trying to tease me. It takes me close to the 10 spot, then it picks something else. Come on, come on, another 10 spot. 
before we close the video that should be fun so i plan on maxing out mr bertrand i think we're gonna get five wheels this season so all of them are gonna be going to bertrand my toha right now is sitting at five 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 three I am just upgrading, hoping the game developers can do something to scale number one. As of right now, not that many people are using Tohar in the open field, so I think they might do something about it in the future. They just need to fix the channeling, and that's about it. We got five more, so let's see. How is this gonna end? One more. Ten spot. Oh my goodness. Take a look at this, guys. We end the 100 with the ten spot. This is some good stuff. Now we're gonna go straight to the hero section and see what's up. First of all, we gotta claim all these free juicy rewards. They look juicy, mouth watery. This is awesome. Give me those tokens right now. I deserve it. 15 Bertrand token. This is great. We got four more wheels this season. I'm going to take advantage of the wheel. So let's see how many we got. Oh, wow. 95 token. It started out bad. Ended in happiness. This is some greatness. I like it. And we got 20 G2 hero tokens. So I got a total of 115 tokens from 100 spin. This is fantastic value. I am not going to be spinning to 200 because I am saving the gems for the new artifact. So right now I'm going to unlock the next two stars and then try to upgrade skill number three because that is what I am looking for. So the plan is to try and get skill number three all the way up to five. If I can get five, one, five, then I'll unlock skill number four. But from the looks of it, I'm going to unlock everything because I'm going to be maxing him out this season. So there's no need to limit myself. Put some more stars. Three stars unlocked. Go and upgrade the hero. And get some good value in the open field. So the plan is to upgrade skill number three. Let's see if that's going to happen. Awesome. I knew this was going to be a good day. This is what I am talking about, guys. Do you plan on maxing out Bertrand? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'm going to take him to 6 stars when I get to level 50. And I'm going to take Tohar to 6 stars as well. I know he kind of sucks, but I have already invested. So I might as well just try him out this season and see what he is capable of doing. I know he's going to be good in alliance keeps and fighting in choke points. So let's see how that's going to play out. So we're gonna try and put some stars onto Tohar, get him to level 5 and then later on push him all the way up to level 6. I got plenty of stars. Maybe I should save them for the new archers coming in 2 months. I don't know if they're gonna bring archers. They could make a twist and bring something different. We could see some overall heroes or they could change the format and bring infantry, then mages, then archers, then cavalry last. We don't know what they're gonna do. Showing you my bag, this is what I have left. And I think that's it for the video, guys. The spin is done. I got 95 tokens, which was awesome. Let me know down below what you got. If you're new here, subscribe for more content. Until then, I'm gonna talk to you guys in the next video. Bye bye for now.